Hello everybody, Audie here from Ratliff Mandolins and today we are going to discuss how to ship a musical instrument safely so that it arrives at its destination without being damaged. We'll start with this mandolin right here which is the latest Ratliff Mandolin. It's number 1099 and it's going to a music store in Texas which I'll tell you all about later. But let me show you what I do to get them ready to ship. First thing you want to do is take the, some of the tension off the strings. Doesn't have to be all of it, but at least uh, enough so that you're going to relieve a lot of the tension on that neck and everything. I usually keep just enough to keep the bridge in place. Tune it down maybe three frets or something like that. Then you want to remove any kind of things that might fall off. And on a mandolin, primarily, that is the tailpiece cover. So I put it in a little envelope and uh, put it down in the case pocket so that it's not going to flop around and scratch this instrument up some way if it works itself loose during the shipping process. So basically, once you've removed all of the loose stuff off of the instrument and you've tuned it down, the instrument itself it's ready. So then we put it in a case. I have a nice hard shell case here. However, any case will, is better than none. So whatever you have to ship your instrument with, use a case. We'll put it in the case. Uh, if you're going to use something besides a case that's fitted really, really well, you want to pad out here with some cloth or something that uh, won't mar the finish, but some nice cloth. And you want to cover the peg head. What you're wanting to do now is uh, pad this case out so that the peg head's got some downward pressure here. What happens is sometimes if they're set up and the, and the whole box falls, and when this thing hits, it just snaps the peg head right off. It's called a whiplash break. Well, you want to avoid that if at all possible. The way to avoid that is to pad it out. Now, these cases come with a nice velvet cover. However, you could probably use any kind of soft cloth or anything. What you really want to do is just keep that something to keep from marring the finish on the peg head. Uh, pat it out with newspaper. I have some brown paper here, but the reason I, I do put a cloth on there is sometimes I always worry about the ink or something from the newspaper actually marring the finish. Uh, so you want to avoid that. We're going to do this. The mandolin is detuned. All of the loose stuff is off in the case pocket. We're going to put just enough in there to, to do that right there. Make sure that peg head is reasonably supported. And then it goes in the shipping box. And let's talk about the shipping box a little bit. Uh, if you don't have a readily supply, a ready supply of boxes, uh, and I'll show you what I've got here in just a second, but you can go to your local music store and usually get a guitar box and then take a razor knife or a box cutter and cut it down to the appropriate size for a mandolin or a fiddle or something like that. But uh, if you're shipping a guitar, then a regular size guitar box would be fine. So let's talk about boxes and let's go right over here and I'll show you. So we have here an appropriately sized box to ship a mandolin in. Like I said, if you've got a bigger instrument, you can just get you a box from a music store and cut it down or not as you see fit. Uh, what we have here is... I'll open it up so you can see a little better. Basically an appropriate size box and we're going to put the mandolin in there. No matter who you use to ship with, they all recommend at least two inches of padding all the way around the instrument. So, kind of center everything up and I use newspapers most of the time. You can use peanuts or anything. Just take, wad it up. And start filling the box up. You can also, if you're a worry wart, and I am sometimes, take a piece of plastic, kind of wrap it all around the case, keep the case from getting scratched. When it gets opened up, because I like to make sure that everything is nice and pretty. Now, uh, once everything's padded out, and I'm pretty sure that the mandolin's not going to flop around too much in the case. we we'll close it up. Take 
tape it up, put a label on it. I usually keep one of these to and from labels. You can buy them at any office supply store. And one last trick, wherever the peg head is in the case, in the box, I like to put the tag on the opposite end somewhere so that when it's, if somebody happens to stand it up during the shipping process to look at the tag, then it's going to be the butt of the instrument, not the peg head. And that way, if it falls over, it'll fall over this way and will not fall and get that whiplash break. So the big major points are take the tension off the strings, clean up any kind of loose material that might flop around in the case and scratch the instrument. Pad the peg head really good, two inches of padding around whichever box you choose, and label the butt end of the instrument rather than the peg head end in that way. That's uh, probably your safest bet all the way around. You can take it to uh, one of the shipping pickup points uh, for any of the shippers, insure it heavily for what, or at least insure it for what it's worth, obviously, in case something goes wrong. And you, most of the time, you have no problems. I've not had any trouble shipping anything or anything broke in 10 or 12 years now. So, but I use these procedures. Now, like I said earlier in the video, this mandolin here is going to a music store in Texas. It's going to a music store in Austin, Texas, Texas called Fiddler's Green Music Shop. And you can find their uh, information on the end of this video, it is www.fiddlersgreenmusicshop for their internet address. And you can find that if you can't find that or whatever, you can go to the Ratliff Mandolins website at www.ratliffmandolins.com. Go to the dealer page and click right through. This Mandolin is again number 1099. Number 1099. It is a nice little mandolin, a tobacco brown sunburst, a single piece back, some uh, reasonably nice curly wood in the neck, and some very, very nice curly wood in the sides. Uh, it's an R5. And I will put some good pictures on the end of this video so you can see it really well. So if you're interested in this particular mandolin, call them up at Fiddler Screen Music Shop in Austin, Texas, and I'm sure they'd be happy to talk to you. Thank you so very much for watching this video. Look for more in the future. Feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you'd like, and we'll see you then. Bye now.